Can you come play with me? No, son. I'm in the middle of cooking dinner. Go watch TV or something. The nation of Haiti is no longer. It is completely gone. Breaking news! Haiti has just been hit with a disastrous hurricane that... Many believe it was deforestation that led to the end of the nation. Rainforests are like the earth umbrellas. They protect the earth against harsh rains and winds. If you cut down trees, the earth is no longer capable of absorbing the water when it rains, causing major landslides, leaving homes uninhabitable and destroyed. We warm old countries. Stop cutting trees. We need to preserve our lands, or else Haiti won't be the last destroyed nation. Mommy, is the guy on the news right? Can this really happen to us? No, of course not. It's not our fault deforestation is happening. So whatever happens in Haiti can never happen here? Yes, that's right. You don't have to worry about that nonsense. We should have listened to the news. My mom was wrong. There, off in the distance, do you see it? It's the Williams feedlot here in my hometown of Waco, Texas. I worked the kill floor there for a time, but after so many years on the job, I just couldn't hack it anymore. Their absolute disregard for the well-being of their workers and the cows made me sick to my stomach. I've tried numerous times to shut them down before, but it was all for naught. But this time will be different. This time I've hidden a small concealable camera on my person, and with it, I plan to show you where your beef really comes from. I'm going in. Wait, what is this? Where are we? This isn't the factory I worked. The one I worked had cattle by the hundreds crammed together in tiny holding pins where they were literally living over their own refuse. The smell was ungodly, but what truly sickened me were all the antibiotics and arbitrary chemicals the cows were injected with.
Sounds harmless enough, but what this does is create super bugs. The injection is killing all of the weakest forms of the virus, leaving the only the strong to reproduce. Not only that, but the carbon footprint that producing beef commercially creates is staggering. There's no doubt in my mind that this floor is a facade to ease the masses. you think they go when you eat them later on down the road? They don't just disappear. Every time you eat it, you're getting a low dosage of said injection. I guess in the end, these businesses will always find ways to weasel around people like me. The only people that can force them to change is you, the consumer.